motivational speaker. She has appeared in TV shows, radio programs. Uh, she has written an award-winning book as well. Let's give her a round of applause. If you're happy to be here, will you turn around and give one or two people a high five, a handshake, or a head nod and tell them you're glad they're here? <laughs> How many of you have ever experienced a problem employee? Can I see a show of hands? How many of you have been that problem employee? <laughs> We're going to talk about tools, strategies, and tips for dealing with your problem employee. How do you to motivate them to conform to the expectations that you and your company have set out? Or how to free up their future. Now on the count of three, I'd like for you to practice saying that with me. I am going to free up your future. That's a positive way to say it. You're fired. Okay, one, two, three. Free up your future. This is one of my favorite quotes. How many of you are familiar with Warren Buffett? This quote is, in looking for people to hire, you look for three qualities. Integrity, intelligence, and energy. And if they don't have the first one, which is integrity, the other two will kill you. When I was in HR a hundred years ago, because I've been alive for 150 years, I want you to know, when you ask the employee to do something, they do this. <laughs> I'm glad that's an international body language. <laughs> They tisk, that's what that's called, tisking, rolling their eyes and manifesting negativity in their body language. And, and I always say that management and leadership is not a destination, but it is in fact a journey of learning and recognizing the things that we must do to make sure that we motivate our employees to be the best that they can be. Okay, so I want you to all tell each other, great job! Keep up the good work on the count of three. One, two, three. Great job! Keep up the good work, right? Okay, at least you heard it from somebody. Thank you for the opportunity to be a service advisor. I want to share with you public speaking strategies and techniques and tips that will actually help increase your business regardless of what your business is right now and how you can become more persuasive as you do so. So what I'd like to ask you is if you're in. If you're in with me on this voyage tonight, I'd like for you to respond by saying, I'm in. And if you really feel it, I want you to take one hand and take your other fist and say, I'm in. Put your body in it. On the count of three, will you do that for me? One, two, three, go. I'm in. All right, wonderful. Study after study show that entrepreneurs and small business owners who invest in speaking about their business are able to grow them 50% more and 80% faster according to studies that we have reviewed. We again need to be very succinct and very critical about where we spend our time and energy because as small business owners we don't have an abundance of time and energy to go from one event to the other. And for heaven's sakes do not sit next to people that you already know because what can happen if you sit next to the people that you know all the time? You never grow your network. So you could end up dying and never meet your best friend in life if you don't sit next to new people every time you go to one of these meetings. So my question to you right now is how do you distinguish yourself? How are you going to be the go-to person when someone is looking to do business with you?
sleep in bed with a, another person, uh, your husband or spouse, not too much information. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate challenge is to go home tonight and say, dear, would you be willing to swap sides of the bed with me for a week or two? You will have a bachelor on your hands. The next concept is fire hosting. We come to our staff meetings and someone says, I'd like to try this idea. And what do we hear sometimes in our meetings? We can't do that, right? That will never work. That's a dumb idea. Now, I did a training at MTEL. And the culture of MTEL is that they will never fire hose an idea. No matter how ridiculous it sounds, their standard response is that's an interesting idea. So I encourage you to not stop at the first right answer, but to continue striving for the best answers. We do not follow the crowd. You see people that follow the crowd end up following them off the cliff many times. So I ask you, be different. Turn your back on the crowd and find your own way. Thank you so much.